Chris is sharing the word today in yeah. honor of all fathers. Five minutes, Chris. Five minutes. Thank yeah. you. Nikumeku time. Uh, to end the share word. Sita fungua Bible lakini ita, ita go straight to Genesis 16. I'll share something about Abraham, but I'll, I'll, I'll base my message on two things. One, to the fathers, who, you know, if you have a child, you are a father, whether you admit it or you don't admit it. So I want to speak, one, to the fathers who know very well, deep within, mm. they have their fathers, they have kids, and they have never, one, either disclosed to their family, or secondly, they refuse to be, to be, to be responsible. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about, the fathers who go through issues and by s either by default or not, uh, you know, the wives are not supportive because sometimes men will go through issues and because, you know, men, we are not made, we are not wired to emotionally expose what we are going through. Sometimes we need someone who can deeply even talk to us and, uh, you know, understand, identify with what we are going through. And you might not give a lot of advice, but you can pray with us. So I'll, I'll, I'll share something little in the book of Genesis about the story of, 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 of Haggai and, and, and you know, uh, uh, his, uh, uh, I mean, uh, um, Abraham and Sarah. Yes. We know this story very well, but I'll say something. That's why I don't want to go back to the word. I just want to give a little story and then maybe I explain something in a minute. So I'll go to that point whereby Sarah told the husband, who is Abraham, to go get uh, or to go conceive or to go bear a child uh, with a guy. The story, it happened that uh, whatever happened happened and here now Haggai has a child. And it comes to a point whereby now uh, they have an issue because when Haggai got blessed with that, with her, uh, got pregnant, she began to mock her boss or her mistress. And then Sarah was not okay with the thing. And that is when we see Sarah now turning the ball to Abraham, forgetting that she's still the one who told Abraham to go sleep with Haggai. And we see it got to a point when now the boy was, 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 was weaned and he had I think grown up and uh, uh, Abraham was pushed by the wife to send them away. Mm. So this is what I want to say. Yes. That child, Ishmael now, or that child you have, maybe out of wedlock or you got a child and you have never told anyone about the child. One thing I, I, I thank God about, when you read in the book of, in the same book, but in chapter 21, you realize that now God tells Haggai, after they were sent and the water they, has, they were sent with, Elisha, aliambia Haggai, fanya hivi. Haggai, no, Haggai kwanza alienda kacha mtoto pahali na bush. Ndi wasione mtoto ati daddy, akaenda far. But God sent an angel and told Haggai, Funny, if you go and pick your, your, your pick, go and pick your boy because he's a, he, I, I, I'll, I'll bless him and make him, I, 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 and make him great. Yes. That is to tell you, even that child who, who you have neglected or you are afraid of sharing about them, God knows him and speaks about him even today. Mm. That child is innocent. That child has no fault. The fault was between you and whoever person, but the child, just go mm. back. Take care of the child because mm. God is speaking about that child, even today. The, the, uh, the other thing is about the men who, they don't, who don't get support from their wives. I, we love our wives and we, I, my prayer is one that you as a wife, because we see the issue of Sarah and Abraham. It yes, happened. as we finalize. <laughs> yeah, it happened that now, uh, mm. now uh, you know, whatever Sarah told Abraham, it had to turn around now. Ika kuwa sasa ni, uh, ni Sarah na anambi Abraham, it was your deed. So just as a, ma, as, as a wife, just, just believe in your man. Pray with him through uh, going through whatever challenge they are going. Because men we might not say it, we are emotionally crushed. But we still come home and say things are okay. Just pray with them, encourage them. And if you have a child outside wedlock or child you never even shared about, or you are a man, you left your family, please 
Yes. God is speaking <laughs> about that child. Yes. You don't know what you mm. what you what you have. Yes. It might be the king or something related to that. So yeah. God bless you. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Chris, for sharing the word. I know because okay. of time we have to bring the show to an end. Yeah. But you know what? Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in on this wonderful day. To the fathers, to every father, we celebrate you. And most specifically, I want to appreciate three great great fathers were in my life my heavenly father of course my spiritual father pastor tim wangi i really appreciate you thank you for standing with me and growing with me spiritually and my biological father mr henry odanga i really love you so much you are a good example of the love of god unto my life and to the lives of my siblings so god bless you to everyone thank you so much for tuning in on this day repeat is tonight at 9 30 p.m if you've missed the show and the amazing testimony of Chris here who has graced us with his presence and spare some time to come hang out with us and share with his, us a journey of restoration. Repeat, go tonight 9.30 p.m. and to share here on our YouTube channel at Y254. Apart from that, let me just say goodbye for now. God bless you. See you next Sunday. Same time, same place here on Y254.